אשר חסדי אבות ואימהות ומביא גואל לבני בניהם למען שמו ביחבות מסוד חכמים ונבונים ומלאם את דעת מבינים אבטחפי בתפילה ובתחנונים לחלות ולחנן פני מלך מלא רחמים מוכר וסולח לעוונים. O pure of vision, greatly exalted, teach us to pray with understanding that we may help bring comfort to those whose prayers we raise up to you. Zohreinu l'chayim Melech hafetz b'chayim וכותבינו בספר החיים למענך אלוהים חיים. מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן ברוך אתה אדוני מגן אברהם ופוקד שרה. גיבור יעולם אדוני, מחיה מתים אתה, רב להושיע. מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים. ומתיר עצורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר, מחמוך בעל גבורות כמוך אף הרחמים, זוכר יצוריו לחיים ברחמים. בנאמן אתה לחיות מתים, ברוך אתה אדוני, מחיי המתים. אתה אחד You are one, you are one, but not in number, but not in number, nor shape nor boundary, nor shape nor boundary. Atah nimsa, atah nimsa. You who exist, you exist, but ears can't hear you, but ears can't hear you, and eyes can't see you, and eyes can't see you. Atah chai, atah chai. You who are alive, you are alive. Not soul, not body, not soul, not body. No death, no birth, no death, no birth. Atah chai. You who are one, you are one. Mystery so deep, mystery so deep. How can we grasp you? How can we grasp you? Page four hundred forty-six. As celestial choirs sing of the holiness of your name, so do we do the same. As angels in your court ask where and how to make your name known, so do we ask to be shown. 
קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוא כל הארץ כבודו קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוא כל הארץ כבודו קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוא כל הארץ כבודו קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוא כל הארץ כבודו While sitting at the footstool, footstool of the throne of heaven, I want to tell you all about a book called Talking Back, a handbook for combating demons. It's not written by a witch or a wizard. It's written by a fourth century monk whose teachings sound very Hasidic. His demons are negative thoughts and he talks back to them in Bible verses. It's a really personal book about the author's own demons and his favorite verses. But I've started using the method with my own demons and my own verses. Like when I lose my train of thought and my mind goes blank and I'm tempted to fill it in with social media doom scrolling. <laughs> That's when I whisper the second verse of Bereshit Genesis. The earth was chaotic and void, and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. Because I don't really want to cover up my own emptiness anymore. Instead, I want to pause and feel the Spirit of God, even there. When I wake up in the middle of the night and all my self-doubts crowd in, I block them with a verse from Psalms. Walk around Zion, circle it, count its towers, take note of its ramparts because I just want to wall off the doubts long enough to enjoy a healing sleep. When I worry that we're all going to die, which happens a lot these days, I whisper a verse from the prophet Ezekiel. Can these bones live? Because I know Ezekiel finds out they can. When I'm afraid to speak up, I remember a verse from Migilat Esther. The king extended to Esther the golden scepter. Because Esther, who was afraid to speak lest she die, spoke anyway, and it saved lives. When I judge someone harshly, I think, May the Lord bless you and keep you because it stops my anger before it even starts. 
This may not save lives, but it has probably saved a soul or two, including mine. And it has helped me learn a little bit better how to see my negative thoughts as they arise and how to talk back to them before they sabotage me. Page 451. Who can I accuse of whom revenge demand when I have borne deep suffering at my own hand? Other hearts have held hatred for me, but my own heart hates me more than anyone knows. My body bears the wounds of relentless foes, but none can match my self-inflicted wounds. I have been seduced for my destruction, but none have lured me more than my own eyes. I have been burned by countless fires, but none compared to the heat of my own desires. In traps I've been ensnared by old and young, but none have trapped me better than my own tongue. Bandits have pursued me fast and fleet, but none pursue me faster than my own feet. Pain overwhelms me, but no pain more than my rebellion. Anguish increases, but never faster than transgression. Whom can I blame? How can I function? when I am the source of my own destruction. I seek shelter for my soul, which you alone did fashion. For you, our God and King, are enthroned upon compassion. Page 452 at the bottom. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Bechadun, Erech Abayim, Verab Chesed Be'emet, Noser Chesed Lalafim, Noser Avon Vafesha Bechadaha, Who 
we are always connected with you. Have mercy on us. We are part of you. 458. Kianu amhecha beata Eloheinu Anu fanecha beata avinu Anu kardecha beata adoneinu Anu kahalecha beata chelkeinu Ay, 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 anu lachotecha we are going to be able 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 to be to be able to Beata Kovenu, ay, 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 anu, amecha, beata malkeinu, anu, mamirecha, beata mamirenu, ay, 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 You who know the mysteries of the universe, the secrets of everyone alive. You who probe our innermost depths. You examine our thoughts and desires. Nothing escapes you. Nothing is hidden from you. Bless us with peace. Page 470. Ay, 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 Eloheinu, Elohe Avatenu, Mimoteinu, Barcheinu, Barbracha, Hamishuleshet, Batora, 
הכתובה הידי משה עבדך, המורה מפי אהרון ובניו, כהנים עם קדושך כאמור. יברכך אדוני וישברך, כן יהי רצון, יאר אדוני פניו אליך וחונקה, כן יהי רצון, יישא אדוני פניו אליך ויישם לך שלום. כן יהי רצון. Page 474, toward the bottom. <laughs> Yeshikoach, Rav Laura Duhan Kaplan, and Charles Kaplan. Let's rise as we turn to the Torah service, page 480. <speaking in Hebrew> Umem shaltecha bechol dor vador. Adonai amelech, Adonai amalach, Adonai imloch leolam vaeh. Vayehi bin soa aron, vayomer moshe. Kuma kuma, Adonai v'yafutsu oivecha, v'yanusu misanecha, mipanecha. Ki mitziyon teitzei Torah, udvar Adonai, mirushalayim. 
Baruch Shanatan Torah Amo Yisrael Bikdu Shato Adonai Adonai El Rachum Bechanun Erech Apayim Berav Chesed Ve'emet No Tzer Chesed La'alafim no say avon ba fesha vechatat venake. Adonai, Adonai, el rachum vechanun erech apayim verav chesed veemet. No ter chesed la alafim. No say avon ba fesha vechatat. Venake Adonai Adonai El Rachum Vechanun Erech Apayim Verav Chesed Veemet No Tzer Chesed Laalafim No Se Avon Vafesha Vechatat Benake Vaani Tefilati Lecha Adonai Eidratzom Elohim Berov Chastecha Aneni Aneni be a met Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kahadosh Benora Shemo God lula dona iti unaromema shemo yachta. Let's look at the columns of Torah we're going to read from today. Vezo ta Torah, Asher Samoshe, Leaf Nevene Israel, Al Piadonai, Biad Moshe. You can be seated. This morning, we're weaving the Avodah, our enactment of the Kohen Gadol, the high priest's rituals of atonement, usually found in the Musaf service, into the Torah reading, which describes those same events. The Avodah liturgy is based on Midrashic and Zoharic elaborations on the Torah's terse narrative, filling out the story more imaginatively. And we are invited to participate in the drama as if we were right there, Israelites in the tabernacle courtyard. As we begin, please clear space for yourself in your Mikdash Ma'at, in the sanctuary that you have created for yourself at home. We'll be prostrating, bowing to the ground three times during this mixture of Torah reading and liturgy. 
It's a powerful practice, not always easy to enact at the JCC where our chairs are packed so closely together in tight rows. But this year, we have the latitude to take our own space and be actors in the play. So much of Judaism, like the Passover Seder, invites us to participate as if we ourselves were there within the throng of Israel. Here's one more opportunity. We call a single aliyah for the whole community to be read in three sections interspersed with this morning's narrative. We are the people of Israel. Nala amod, please unmute. Kol hakahal, all of the community. The bracha is on page 486. Barhu et Adonai Hamborah, Baruch Adonai Hamborah, Baruch Adonai Hamborah, at dawn, on Yom Kippur, the priest and the Levites and the Israelites gathered, forming three concentric circles around the high priest who bathed and dressed in his eight priestly garments, veiled by a curtain. After arranging a sacrificial sheet on the altar, offering incense and lighting the lamp, he immersed again and redressed, setting aside his gold vestments in favor of new white linen. They attached a cord to his leg because of the danger he'd face entering the Holy of Holies. He might need to be rescued, pulled out. The high priest stretched his hands over the bull and confessed upon him his own personal sins and those of his household, holding nothing back. And thus he said, Anashem Aviti Ashati Hatati Lepanecha Ani Uveti Anashem Kapernal Yavanot Vilapshaim Lachataim Shaviti Vishapashati Vishatati Lepanecha Ani Uveti Takatu Vitorat Moshe of the Ha Kiva Yom Aze Yaperalechem the Taher at Rem Mikol Hatotechem Lifne Adonai Vakoani. Shah Vitahara 
Let's prepare to bow, lowering all the way to the ground. Ayu, korim, umishtakavim umodim, benoklim al penehem, veyomrim, baruchem kevod malchuto, we can be seated as the arc curtain is closed. When the priests and all the people in the court heard God's name enunciated in purity, they fell to the ground declaring, praised is the name of the one whose glorious sovereignty lasts forever. And the high priest completed the verse saying, you shall be cleansed, titaru. Two identical goats were made ready and the priest cast lots, assigning one goat to heaven, the other to the wilderness. Then he burned the sacrificial bull to confess the sins of his tribe. Amen. Velakach et shnei ha-seirim, v'hemid otam lifnei Adonai, petach wa moed, v'natan aharon, al shnei ha-seirim gor alot, Goral echal Adonai, v'goral echal Azazel, v'kriv aharon et ha-sair, asher ala alav, ha-goral Adonai, v'asahu chatat, v'asair, asher ala alav, ha-goral Azazel, ya'amal chai, lifnei Adonai l'chaper alav, l'shalach oto l'azazel ha-midbara, Vikri v'aharon et parachatat asher lo v'chaper v'yado u'v'ad b'to v'shachat et parachatat asher lo And the high priest and the congregation bowed to the ground and said Anashem navi Pashati Hatati lefanecha Ani uveiti Uvne aharon am kiroshecha Anashem kaper na leavanot Vilapshaim lachataim Sheaviti vishapashati Vishachatati lefanecha Ani uveti Uvnei aharon am kiroshecha Kakatu v'torat Moshe avdecha Ki v'yom aze yichaper alechem L'tahar etchem mikol chatotechem Let's open the Ark Curtain. Let's prepare to bow, lowering all the way to the ground. 
We can be seated as the Ark Curtain is closed. All the people in the temple court heard the annunciation of the holy name, and the high priest prolonged its utterance as they recited Baruch Shem Kavod, blessed is the name of the one. And then he completed their verse saying, Tit Haru, you shall be cleansed. The high priest slaughtered the bull, collecting some blood in a bowl. He entered the Holy of Holies, lighting incense, so that smoke filled the space to mediate the directness of his contact with the divine. ולקח מלוא המחתה, גח על אש מעל המזבח מלפני אדוני, ומלוא חופניו כדור עצמים דקה, והביא מבית לפרוכת, ונתן את הקטורת על האש לפני אדוני, וכיסה ענן הקטורת את הכפורת אשר על העדות ולא ימות. ולקח מדם הפר והיזה באצבעו על פני הכפורת קדמה. ולפני הכפורת יעזה שבע פעמים מן הדם באצבעו. ושחט את שעיר החטאת אשר לעם, והביא, והביא את דבו אל מבית לפרוכת. ועשה את דמו כאשר עשה לדם הפר והיזה אותו על הכפורת ולפני הכפורת וכיפר על הקודש מטומאות בני ישראל ומפשעיהם לכל חטאותם וכן יעשה לאוהל מועד השוכן איתם בתוך טומאותם וכל אדם עלו יהיה באוהל מועד בבואו לחבר בקודש עד צאתו וכיפר בעדו ובעד ביתו ובעד כל קהל ישראל. The high priest sprinkled droplets of blood from the bull on the cover of the ark containing the tablets of the law and counted as he did so. אשר לפני אדוני וכיפר עליו ולקח מדם הפר 
ומידם השעיר ונתן על קרנות המזבח סביב. והיזה עליו מן הדם באצבעו שבע פעמים, וטיהרו וקידשו מטומאות בני ישראל. וחילה מכפר את הקודש ואת אוהל מועד ואת המזבח. והקריב את השעיר החי. ושמח אהרון את שתי ידיו על ראש השעיר החי. והתוודה עליו את כל עוונות בני ישראל ואת כל פשעיהם לכוחתותם. ונתן אותם על ראש השעיר ושילח ביד איש איתי המדברה. ונשא השעיר עליו את כל עוונותם אל ארץ גזירה, ושילח את השעיר במדבר. He emerged, then hurried to repeat the ritual, sprinkling the blood of the goat that had been consecrated, a purification offering for Adonai. Now, mixing the blood of the goat with that of the bull, he purified the golden altar. He confessed the sins of the nation on the head of the live goat consecrated for the wilderness. And the high priest and the congregation bowed to the ground and said, An Hashem Avu Israel. <laughs> Let's prepare to bow, lowering ourselves all the way to the ground. Baruch 
מבקשים כבוד מלכותו לעולם ועד. And the high priest intentionally prolonged his utterance of the holy name. And when the people in the temple court heard God's name pronounced so explicitly, they fell to the ground saying, Praise is the name of the one whose glorious sovereignty will last forever. And the Kohen Gadol completed their verse saying, You shall be cleansed. And God's love was aroused, and God forgave Israel. The Zohar says that when the high priest's prayers were complete, the cherubs in the Ark of the Covenant opened their wings and began to sing. The goat for the wilderness was sent forth. The high priest read portions of the Torah. He completed the purification offering and the holiday offering. He removed his white vestments and buried them forever. Bathing and redressing in his daily vestments of gold and ornament so as to offer the daily sacrifice and light the daily incense and candles. Finally, he changed into his personal clothes and was accompanied home by an exultant crowd. The Zohar says that if the priest was worthy, there was rejoicing on high, and here below the chamber of holiness would begin to shimmer, illuminated by the glow of God's acceptance, streaming from hills of pure balsam. The priest backed out of the chamber, and oh, how glorious was his appearance when he came forth safe from the Holy of Holies. Like the canopy of heaven, like the light of angels, like the tzitziot on the corners of our garments, like a rainbow amidst clouds, like a rose in a garden, like a crown on the forehead, like the face of a bridegroom, like the morning star, like the golden bells on the hem of a robe, like a chamber hung with blue and purple tapestries, like the sun shining upon the earth. Let's unmute for the bracha after our aliyah to be found on page 486. Baruch Ata Adunai, Baruch Ata Adunai, Baruch May we be blessed with the prayer of the Kohen Gadol when he emerged from the Kodesh HaKodashim on Yom HaKippurim. May it be your will, Adonai our God and God of our ancestors, to grant us a year of abundance, a year of blessing, a year of good fortune, a year of bountiful harvest, a year of prosperity, a year of assembly, in your holy place. A year of song, a year of fulfilling life, a year of dew and rain and sun, a year of health, a year of sweet fruit at the harvest, a year of atonement and forgiveness for all our sins, a year in which our bread and water are blessed, a year of rest, a year of consolation, a year of abundant joy, a year of delight, a year in which the fruit of our womb and the fruit of our earth are blessed, a year in which our going and coming are blessed, 
a year in which our community achieves salvation, a year in which your mercy descends upon us, a year of peace and tranquility, a year in which we go up to your holy land, a year in which the work of all hands are fully blessed. And let us say, Amen. We now call upon Gloria Levy to offer a prayer for peace. prayer for peace. The more traditional prayer, uh, prayers for peace are generally abstract and flowery and do not speak to me. So I write this prayer in the form of a lament. A lament is my protest hurled at God, blurting out suffering, giving voice to pain, abuse, isolation, and oppression. They say God responds when he hears our cries. So I stand here today to plead their cause, to put to words, to articulate that pain. And in the accent of my Ashkenazi forebears, Reboine shel oilam, Reboine shel oilam, Reboine shel oilam. Reboine shel olam, master of the universe, just as you heard the cries of the Israelites in Egypt, hear our cry from the heart. We, this holy congregation, through our covenant, implore you. A former Victoria rabbi, Victor Reinstein, said, quote, protect our people upon our land, calm and soothe them, and let terror be no more. Help us to remember that we are one people and let not senseless hatred that brought down the walls of your house divide us yet again from each other and from you. From our pain and fear, we often lash out destructive fury." End of quote. Let not opportunistic leaders callously manipulate fear-mongering for political gain Open our eyes to the illusions of military might. We pour out our hearts to you in anguish for the suffering of all your children. Hear the cries and wails of Israeli and Palestinian mothers over their wounded and maimed children. Ease their parents' fear and give them reason to hope. Hear the heartbroken cries of thousands of Bedouin who have been expelled from their land. Hear the cries of those who have no voice, who live in pain. We have lost our way and descended into shameful degradation, gratuitous cruelty, and ugliness. Even in the midst of the plagues, we did not demonize the Egyptians, but rather expressed our compassion for their pain. Peace is not the product of terror or fear. Peace is not the silence of violent repression. Let us return to the voices of our prophets. Tzedek, tzedek, tirdof, justice, justice you shall pursue. While on Gabriola Island this summer, I was fortunate to see shooting stars, a part of the shower of meteors. And Thomas Aquinas said, how is it they live for eons in such harmony, the billions of stars, when most men can barely go a minute without declaring war in their mind against someone they know? How can we live in harmony? First, we need to know we are all madly in love with the same God and take into our hearts Isaiah's vision. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, and they will no longer study warfare. Thank you.
Amen. Thank you, Gloria Levy. Shalom, 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 shalom. Our teacher this morning is Rabbi Yoni Gordas. So it was a few days after Purim, mid-March, when I got a tickle in my throat. And in that time, before there were any closures or any instructions, before there was even a Bonnie Henry in our world, uh, things changed very quickly. And yes, within a few days, I was down with a fever. And I spent uh, the next few weeks, two weeks, with a deep fever and living in the world of COVID. As that virus made its way through me, thickening my blood, reducing oxygen flow, crossing the blood-brain barrier, affecting me cognitively, I went through a process that was to a large degree an erasure. I found that very much I began to forget. I forgot my preferences. I forgot my bothers. I felt my body, I felt my discomfort, but I really thought very little. At many moments, I actually was not sure I was gonna come back. I was pretty flattened, wiped out, and erased on the physical, mental, and emotional levels. But after those two weeks of fever, and in the weeks, and actually it's been months of return, I began to notice things, and that things had changed. And I wanna take a few minutes today to talk to you about being a Jew in these times, how we navigate them, uh, and how we keep it together. So when I came back, here's what I noticed that changed. First and foremost, for me, parenting had changed. My two teenage daughters, our two teenage daughters, uh, had gone from being dependents to daughters who cared for us, cooked for us, cleaned the house, were sensitive, compassionate, and cared for their parents who were ill like nothing I've ever seen. So quickly, a process that I thought would take years turned like that. But I noticed other things too had changed. I noticed that the birds were having a heyday. The silence was incredible. There were no planes. It was just when I could hear, it was fantastic. Things might have smelled differently, though I actually couldn't smell very much anymore. But what I really most deeply noticed was a human resilience. I noticed how much everyone around me had changed. By the time I had come back into my own head, everybody had developed new habits of going about things. No one was different when I got the fever, but when I came out, everything had changed. People had changed how they fl whether they flew or not. I began to think, wait, if we can do this, we can stop climate change. We can do a million things. We are adaptable. So it is from that perspective that I want to speak to you today. I want to talk about two strands of faith. Faith in humanity's ability to change, faith in the changing, and faith in the divine, which is that which does not change. I want you to imagine it like a double helix, like the shape of DNA, like a shape that is done in many, many cultures, two strands winding their way through each other. So what do I mean when I say faith? Let's just get that down first and foremost. While there are a lot of definitions, I would call faith as, refer to faith as that insider knowledge. You are like an insider trader of knowing that something is true. Faith means I know this to be true. I have that insider information. It is privileged information that I have, not only about how things will work, but how they do work. So, faith in the changing human, the human who can adapt. So, you know, as well as I do, that we are a highly imperfect species. But nonetheless, everyone, each one of us, as individuals, as families and communities, we have proven our resilience, you've proven your adaptability. Those of you who live in a couple know that you've done, gone places as a couple in these past months that you never imagined you would have to. 
Those of you who live alone know that you've gone into depths of solitude and loneliness and also come out the other end, shown your adaptability. Those of you who have kids, God bless you that you have a modicum of sanity left. Those of you who are living with your parents, um, kola kavod to you as well for surviving this and adapting. You've all shown it. And as the months went on, we showed how much more adaptable we were. <coughs> Suddenly, from everybody tweeting about sourdough bread, everything was about racism, Black Lives Matter, justice coming back into our world. Suddenly, people who never talked about justice were actually seeing their role, their culpability in how unjust this world is. We actually can wake up. It is a pretty incredible thing. So if you are one of those people who has witnessed change, to those I'm speaking, I want you to know that you are living in a deeply Jewish tradition. We are a people that believes in the power of humans to change. If we go biblical for a second, it's everywhere, people who adapt. Adam and Eve, our first parents, God knows they adapted from being in one type of garden to going out into another. Of our forefathers, only one of them was not an immigrant. The others immigrated. They knew change. We have in our history a generation that left Egypt and received Torah. They went from being slaves to being a chosen people. That is adaptability. So, you see your change. You see how you've changed in COVID times. This is a muscle. Change is a muscle that we build up, that we have to work. Our adaptability depends on us working that over and over and over. And this is not just parables, the parables that are biblical. This is true in the history of our people throughout, from the destruction of the temple and the move to Yavne, when we replaced sacrifice so well described by Rabbi Hannah and Wendy just now, from blood sacrifice to prayer to liturgy. We saw changes of people when Hasidism was invented in the 1700s, an idea that you did not need to be a rabbi to meet the divine, but every woodcutter, every schlepper could do that. We saw that in the Holocaust for those who contended with it, those who survived it, those who stood in the outside circles, we adapted. We see that in the denominations of Judaism, not just reform, conservative, renewal. We see that even in orthodoxy, which has changed more in the past decade than perhaps in its history, at least in 100 years or longer, as we ordain women rabbis both in Israel and the United States more than ever before. We see that adaptability in Zionism and Israel. We see that in our peoples and our younger generation, and some of us older, ability to respond to the state of Israel and to the state of Zionism. We are malleable. We are adaptable. That is our muscle as a people. So in all of this change, we have managed to find light and to shine that glow, as Rapana was talking about last night. And now that we know that we have that ability, we know that that faith in humans' ability to change is what actually plows the field for hope. If you know that people can change, you know that we are working that ground and the possibility for something appears there. Faith lies as the possibility that grounds hope. Let's talk about that second strand for a second. The divine, the unchanging. So call it what you will, as we heard last night, the divine, the source of us, the animator of us, that which we emerged from, that into which we immerse. You can call it God, you can call it Yah, you can call it Shrina, you can call it Allah, you can call it space, you can call it vastness, call it the source. The truth of the matter is, it doesn't care what you call it. It calls us by every name we have ever had. It is the light that gives texture to everything. <coughs> it is the everything that is touched by that light. It is the electricity that moves us and holds us. It is vast and it precedes time. It is the unchanging. And in that constant unchanging, it regards us whether we change or not. So where does this lie in our tradition? We don't have a lot of time now, but we could go so deeply into our addition's embrace of the divine unchanging. In the book of Malachi, the prophet is addressed, and God says, Ki ani Adonai lo shiniti. I am Adonai, I have not changed, I am the unchanging. 
God is saying that to us because we need to be able to lean on that, to rely on that, to look at something which is constant in this world of changing. Tikkun Hazar, written in the 16th century, we're told in the beginning of the Zohar tradition, uh, of, of the Lurianic tradition, Leit atar panoimine, there is no place devoid of the divine. The divine is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And we heard this morning Tiferet chant so beautifully to us, Esa enai en haharim, as King David chanted beforehand as he wrote, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains, me'ayin yavo izri. The literal translation of me'ayin is from where will my help come? But Reb Zalman and other masters have taught us that me'ayin also means me'ayin, from the emptiness, from the vastness. My help comes from the unchanging. The unchanging is in tune with me. That is where our strength is derived from. And how do you know that it is so connected to us? How is that unchanging so connected to us, the changing? We wake up in the morning, we utter the phrase, grateful am I before you, and we finish that phrase, that morning prayer, with Rabba emunatecha. Your faith, you, the divine, your faith in me is tremendous. The infinite, unchanging faith in me and my ability to change is tremendous. I want to invite you to relax your eyes for a second. You've been looking at the screen, everyone who's not here in the bite with us. And I want to invite you to close your eyes for just a minute. I'm going to tell you when to open them. Your eyes are going to feel relief not to look at these pixelated images of us. So close your eyes. And I want you to look through what you see in front of your closed eyes, the moving lights, the shapes, whatever it might be, even the thoughts, and look through to the background there that is unchanging. Esa enai el haharim me'ayim. Look at that space in your closed eyes. Look at that ayin, that vastness. It is there for you. There is not a single space in the world devoid of that divinity. Listen through the sounds of the trucks and through the sounds of your mind. Look even deeper into your closed eyes. <coughs> Look at that dark space behind them and see how vast and deep it is. It is the muscle of looking at that that we need to grow. Take a breath, fill your lungs. When you're ready to exhale, feel free to open up your eyes. We are still here. Welcome back. So if you are thinking to yourself now, my faith is thin. I love this idea of being, having faith in humans is changing, having faith in the divine is not changing. But I, don't, I haven't got it. It's thin on me. I want to invite you to be patient. You have been so incredibly patient with yourself, with humanity, even in your moments of impatience over these past months. Practice this. Practice working those muscles, those muscles of seeing how so many around you are able to adapt to this and have in the past and will in the future. We make it through this. That is because we are changing. And I want you to know that practice of the muscle of leaning into the divine, the non-changing, that muscle will grow too. COVID times are actually a gift. It's an opportunity to work that faith garden, to work those faith muscles, to watch the people you love and even those you don't love go through their various contortions to learn how to adapt themselves to a new world. Watch what changes and watch what never changes. It is a double helix. It is like your spine. You don't want it too flexible or too bendy. It is like flames. It is like the Kabbalistic tree of life. There are two strands of faith, and they are winding their way through our lives. And so as you build those muscles this year, and you're going to need them, it's 
going to be a long winter. Spring will be coming around the bend. We will see each other again. We will smile with our mouths and not just our eyes. I want you to know that those muscles will carry you forward. That is placing yourself solidly in a Jewish tradition, perhaps the core of what we've been doing to survive this long, being faithful to our adaptability and being faithful to that which does not change and has never. I want to bless you to know that that burning or aching sensation that you've been feeling in your body in the past months, that's just your muscles growing. It's just like when you work out and run and your thighs hurt afterwards and they burn, that's a little bit of torn tissue showing you that your muscles are growing stronger. I want to bless you to know that you have done good. Like you've been doing this well with all of your tears and all of your suffering and all of your complaining. You actually have made it through this this far. Remember that the source of strength, of sustainability, that source which animates you and moves you, it is constant, it is vast, it is vast even if you complain about it or if you don't complain about it. And you, the changer, you actually have the ability to dance this one. I want to bless you with health on the level of body, on the level of mind, on the level of soul. I want to wish you mazel tov for this blessed incarnation that you have ended up in and for this blessed community that you have stepped into. You've got this. Shana tova. Yashikoach Rabbi Gordas. We begin Musaf with a Chatzi Kaddish, followed directly by Silent Amida. The Chatzi Kaddish can be found on page 518 and the Silent Amida on page 520. At the top of that page, you'll see directions for an English translation or alternative reflections, if you prefer. Of course, God welcomes the prayers of our hearts. Let's rise. Yit Kadash, Yit Kadash, Shemei Biyama divrachi rute, biyamlich machute, becha yechon u biyomechon u becha ye dechovet Israel bagala u bizman kariv veyimeru. Amen. Yehesh me rabba me vorach, leolam veyalme amaya yitparach. Yitparach veyishtabach, yitpaar vitromam yivnaseh, vitadar vitaleh. Vitalal shmeda kutsha berichu. Leela, leela, min kol birchata veshirata. Tush berchata venechemata. Damiran ve'alma ve'imeru.
Yama mama, yama mama, yama mama mama, yama mama, yama mama mama, yama mama, yama mama, yama mama mama, 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 Yama mama, yama mama, yama mama, yama yama mama, yama mama, yama yama mama, 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 oh, yama mama, yama mama, yama mama, yama mama, oh. Yama mama, 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 yama yama mama, yama mama, yama mama, Yama mama, yama mama, mama. Hina ni ha aniyami maas. Here I am, so lacking, and still in this position of leadership. Please turn to page 500. And thirty four Barakata Adonai Elohe Nu, Belohe Abotinu Bimote Nu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Belohe Yaakov, Eloha El Hagadol Hagibor Bahanora. El el yon go mel chasadim tovim ve kone he hakol ve zocher chaste avod vi imahot u mevi go el ivne vnehem lema anshem ovi ahava mesod chachamim u nevonim u milemet daat mevinim. Eftecha fi bitfila ubetachanunim, lechalot ulechanein, ne melech male rachamim, mochel besoleach la avonim. Zachreinu la chayim, melech hafez bachayim. Vechat veinu besefer hachayim lemanecha Elohim chayim mehelachu zero moshia umagein baruch ata Adonai magen Abraham uvoked Sarah. Ata gibor leola marunai, mechaye meitim ata ravlo hoshia, 
So make no flim, berofe holim, o matir asurim, o mekayem emunato lishene afar, mi chamocha bal geburot, o mi dome la. Melech meimit u mechaye u matzmiach Yeshua micha mocha av harachamim zocher yetzurot zocher yetzurot lechaim bera. Hamim. <laughs> is open, and if you're not standing, please rise. Unetana tokev kiddushat hayom ki hu 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 no rabe ayom uvotini se uvotina se malchutecha vikon bechesed kisecha v'teisheva la be'emet Emet ki atahu dayanu mochiach v'yodeya va'ed v'chote v'chote v'sofer u'mone v'tizkor kol hanishkachot v'tiftach et sefer hazikronot u'melav yikare v'chotam yad kol adam bo so far, God, all ye taka over hold my mother, ye shama. O Malachi me have a hazum, the hill vera a dio hazum, the yomaru ine yom hadi. O Holy One of Blessing, you remember what we would rather forget, reviewing the pages of the books of our lives, pages we've written with our own words and deeds. All that lives passes before you today. You will count and judge every living being, determining the fate of everything in creation. How many souls will return to you this year? How many souls will be born into the world? Who will live and who will die? Whose life will be long and whose will be cut? Who will perish by fire and who by water? Who in wilds of war and who in the wilds of nature? Who will be victim of hatred, who will be homeless or hungry or a victim of neglect, who will suffer incurable illness, and who will die of curable illness, who will be at ease with themselves, and who will be conflicted by anxiety, who will be impoverished this year, and who will be enriched who among us will attain fulfillment, and who will not? Who will be brought low, and who will be raised up? Bero shashana yikatevun, 
ubiyom som ki purye khatemu bero shashana ikatevu ubiyom som ki purye khatemu bero shashana ikatevu Ube yom som ki pur ye khate mun Berosh hashana yi khate evun Ube yom som ki pur ye khate mun Kama ya avorun ve khama yi bareyun Mi yi khyeh Umi yamud, mi bekitzo, umi bitlo bekitzo. Bero shashana ikatevun, ubi yom tzom kippur yechatevun. Bero shashana ikatevun. Ube yom tzom kippur yechateimu. Mi ba eish u mi ba mayim. Mi ba cherev u mi ba chaya. Mi ba raav u mi ba tzama. Mi ba raash u mi ba magifah. Mi ba chanika. Umi vaskila, bero shashana ikatevun, ube yom tzom kippur yechatevun, bero shashana ikatevun, ube yom tzom kippur yechatevun. Mi yanuach, u mi yanuwa, mi yashkit, u mi yatoraf, mi yashalev, u mi yitiaser, mi yaani, u mi yashir, mi yushpal, u mi yarum. Bero shashana ikatevun, ube yom tzom kippur yechatevun. 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 We want to believe that all is not determined by fate and that our imprint upon the world matters. We believe that repentance, prayer, and good deeds have the power to change the character of our lives. And so we rededicate ourselves here today, right now, not just asking for a clean slate, but creating one. We are but a broken shard, withering grass, a shriveled flower, a passing shadow, a fading cloud, a fleeting breeze, scattered dust. We are but a vanishing dream, dear God. But your time has no end. The extent of your glory cannot be fathomed and we do not understand your mystery. Treat us kindly, dear one, for your own sake. Give us 
another chance to prove that we can be the glory of your name. Page 538. <speaking in Hebrew> Adam ye so dom ya far ve so full la afar the atahu melech el chai ve kayam Yaron Kodesh is closed and we remain standing for the Kedusha, bottom of page 538. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzvaot, Melochol Haaretz Kevodo. Kevodo, Male Olam, Meshar Tav Shoalim. Zehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehelazehel
the etayun call of dechariter lecha keter melucha nivarechu shem gevodecha vitnu lecha keter melucha yagidu ba'im zikadcha vitnu lecha keter melucha yalla la 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 yalla la 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 Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya kiru kawak Malchutecha Vitnu lecha Keter melucha Vyalmedu Tawihin bina Vitnu lecha Keter melucha Vimalelu et Gevuratecha Vitnu lecha Keter melucha Yalla 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 Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 Vitnu lecha keter melucha. Vitnu lecha keter melucha. Vitnu lecha keter melucha. Vitnu lecha keter melucha. Ay la 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 Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamelech Hakado. Please rise, page 552. Adonai, Adonai, El Rahum Bechanun, Erech Apayim, Verav Chesed V'yemet, Noter Chesed La'alafim, no se yavon va fesha ve khatat ve nake Adonai, Adonai, el rachum ve khanun Erech apayim ve rav chesed ve yemet No tzer chesed la alafim No se yavon va fesha ve khatat then I came, I don't know, I don't know, El Rachum Bechanun, Erech Apayim, Verav Chesed, Emet, No Tzer Chesed, La Alafim, No Seavon, Vafesha, Bechatat, V'nake V'salachta lavoninu V'lechartotinu V'nechaltanu S'lach lanu avinu ki chatanu M'chal lanu malkeinu ki fashanu Ki yata Adonai tov V'salach Lerav chesed lecho korecha.
Let's raise our voices, pleading for compassion. Page 572, Shmakolenu. Shema Koleinu Adonai Eloheinu Chus Barachum Aleinu Vekabel Barachavim Bratzon Et Tefilateinu Ashi Veinu Adonai Elecha Chadesh Yamenu Kekedem Chadesh Chadesh Yamenu Chadesh Yamenu Kekedem Help us, help us return to you Help us return and renew. Help us, help us return to you. Help us return and renew. Yai lai, yai lai 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 la lai. Yai lai, yai lai 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 lai. Yai lai, yai lai 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 la lai. Yai lai, yai lai 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 lai. Help us, help us return to you. Help us return and renew. Oh, help us, help us return to you. Help us return and renew. Al tashlichenu milfanecha, beruach kadshecha al tikach mimenu, al tashlichenu le'ed ziknaha, vekecholot kochenu al ta'azvenu, Al ta'azvenu Adonai Eloheinu, al tirchak mimenu. We can be seated. In the English, at the bottom of page 573, our God and God of our ancestors, forsake us not, shame us not, break not your covenant with us, bring us nearer to you, to your Torah, teach us your commandments, show us your ways, soften our hardened hearts so that we may love and revere you, returning to you wholeheartedly. As the psalmist sang, for your own sake, Lord, pardon my sin, though it is great. Page 574. Eloheinu will have a tenu, slach lahanu, mecha lahanu, kaper lahanu, kianu, amecha, viata eloheinu, anu, vanecha, viata avinu, anu, avdecha, viata adoneinu, Anu kahalecha fiata chelkeinu Anu nachlatecha fiata goraleinu Anu tsonecha fiata roeinu Anu 
Karmecha Veyata no Treinu Anu Feulatecha Veyata Yotreinu Anu Rayatecha Veyata Dodenu Anu Segulatecha Veyata Kerobenu Anu Amecha Veyata Malkenu Anu mamirecha v'yata mamirenu. In the English at the bottom of page 575. We are insolent, but you are gracious and compassionate. We are obstinate, but you are patient. We excel at sin, but you excel at mercy. Our days are a passing shadow, while you are eternal, your years without end. Page 577. Hear our prayer. Do not ignore our plea. We are neither so insolent nor so obstinate to claim that we are righteous without sin, for we have surely sinned. Please rise for the vidui. <laughs> Gazal nu, di bar nu dofi. Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Heavy nu, the hirshanu, zad nu, Hamas nu, tafal nu shakir. Ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la, ya la 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 la. Ya tsnu ra, kizav nu, la tsnu, marad nu, niat nu, sarar nu, avi nu, pasha nu, sarar nu. Kishinu Oref Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Ya la 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 Rasha nu Shikhat nu Tiyav nu Ta'inu Tita We, we continue with al khaits for the desecration of the earth. Ve'akulam eloha selichot selach lannu mechalannu kapeh lannu for all these, forgiving God, forgive us, pardon us, grant us atonement. For she nourishes us, and that which we put into the ground, she returns to us. For the sin of taking from creation's beauty more than we give. And for the sin of destroying for the furtherance of our greed. For the sin of taking from her what we cannot use. And for the sin of destroying earth's music creating confusion. For the sin of wrecking her appearance and being blind to her beauty. And for the sin of polluting her fragrance. For the sin of forgetting who we are in the face of her splendor. And for the sin of abusing our power as stewards of the earth. For all these sins, forgive us, God. Forgive us, pardon us, grant us atonement. 
Great Spirit, whose waters are choked with debris and pollution, help us find a way to cleanse your waters. Great Spirit, whose beautiful earth grows ugly with misuse, Help us to find the way to restore beauty to your handiwork. Great Spirit, whose creatures are being destroyed, help us find a way to replenish them. Great Spirit, whose gifts are being lost in selfishness and corruption, help us find the way to restore our humanity. O oh, Great Spirit, whose voice I hear in the wind, whose breath gives life to the world, hear us. We need your strength and wisdom. May we walk in beauty. Be all cool. Eloha Seliho. Selahlanu. Mehalanu. Kaperla. Please be seated. Middle of page 584. Red say Adonai Eloheinu Ubit Filatam Utfilatam ba'ava tekabel v'ratzon, utihil v'ratzon tamid avodat Yisrael, amecha. Bottom of page 586. Bechol ha'chayim yodu chasela, v'halalu et shimcha be'emet, ha'el yeshuatenu be'ezratenu sela. Baruch ata Adonai, ha'tov shimcha u'lechana e'el, Top of page 590. Eloheinu velohe avoteinu v'imoteinu barcheinu barracha hamishuleshet batorah v'achtuva al yedei Moshe avdecha ha'amurah v'fi ha'aron uvanav kohanim Am Amur. May we feel loved and may we feel safe. Yevarecha Adonai Vishmerecha. May we feel luminous and may we feel loved. Ya Er Adonai Panave Lecha Vihunecha. May we feel joyous, and may we feel whole. Yisa Adonai Panav Eilecha, V'yasem Lecha Shalom. Sim Shalom Ba'olam, Tova Uvracha, Chen V'chesed Racha Mimalenu, V'akol Yisrael, Amecha. The Sefer Chaim, Beracha Veshalom, Ufarna Satova, Nizacher, Venikate, Lefanecha, Anachnu, Vehol, Amecha, Israel. Let Chaim Tovim, Let Chaim Tovim, Ule Shalom. Page 593, and with strong amens. Today you strengthen us. Amen. Today you bless us. Amen. Today you exalt us. Amen. Amen. Today you seek our happiness. Amen. Amen. Today you inscribe us for a happy life. Amen. Amen. Today you accept with love our prayer. Amen. Amen. Today you hear our cry. Amen. Today you sustain us with the power of your justice. Amen. Today you pardon and forgive all our sins. Amen. Amen. 
We can be seated. Asher Koch to you all, and deepest gratitude to those who participated in leadership of our worship this morning. Ferrup Welch, Suke de Zimra, Rabbi Laura Duane Kaplan, and Charles Kaplan for Davening Shachri, our Torah readers, Avi Yan, Lilach Somberg, and Dahlia Margalit Faircloth, Wendy Rubin for Davening the Avodah and contributing to our Musa, Gloria Levy for her prayer of peace, and Rabbi Yoni Gordas for his Devar Torah. Thank you to Dave Kaufman and Martin Gottfried and their tech team, Anthony and Susanna, and to our Zoom Shamashim, Avril Orloff and Linda Peretz, and to Tanya Hebron for her support in the Bayat. The angel who works logistical magic in all our services and creates the beautiful ambiance is Mary Adlersberg. And we thank Fran Rich for arranging for the flowers and Tilly for fixing them. <laughs> Please go to the Or Shalom homepage to empty your pockets with your tzedakah monies to the tzedakah funds that our Tikkun Olam committee has selected for this year. Matthew Gindin will offer meditation at 3 o'clock and we'll be back here in the Bayat for Yizkor, followed by Ni'ila at 5.30. Kadish Shalem, page 594. Yit Gadal Kadash Shemei Rabbah Be'yalma Divrach Hirute Be'yamlich Machute Be'chaye Chonu Be'yalme Chon Uv'chaye Decho Be'it Yisrael Ba'gala Bizman Kari Ve'imeru Ve'imeru Amen Ye'hei Shmei Rabbah Mevorach Leolam yalme yalmaya yit parach yit parach veyish tahabach veyit paar veyit roman veyit nase veyit tadar veyit ala vitalal shmeda kudesha brichu leila leila min kol brachata veshirata. Tush bechata v'nechemata damiran be'alma v'yimeru amen. Tekabel tzlot honu v'odon dechobet Yisrael kadam avu hon divishmaya v'yimeru amen. Yehishle rabba mevorach Yehish lama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yimeru amen. O se shalom bim roma hu se shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yimeru Amen. Yom Kippur is a solemn day, but it is not a sad day. So I hope that some of your burdens have been lifted, and I wish you a lovely afternoon. Gamar Tov and good yantif. Good yantif. Good job, Tiff.